Hi, good morning, everyone. Thanks to all of you for your support. And if you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. Check our playlist to find relevant videos to enhance your skills. If you feel the videos are good and it will be helpful for your circle, please don't hesitate to share with your circle. Keep sharing and keep helping each other. So today I'm going to tell you about uh, one um, useful Excel formula. So kind of a technique which will be helpful for you when you are working on any kind of a report of any kind of tracking, especially the tracking of your uh, development status or a testing status, these kind of a things, then uh, it will be helpful. Let's check it quickly. So, so what we are going to learn and uh, you need a, a specific color for the status. Okay. Let me give you that uh, S number. Maybe you wanted to keep test script. Test script and status. So you wanted to have like this, maybe few test script. Okay. So maybe you can put it like uh, SAP MM master data 01. I don't go to the names and all. Okay, you can just go to oh, SAP MM purchasing 01. SAP MM inventory. Zero one. So we have these kind of our test scripts. Okay. So fifteen test scripts, and you want to have a, a status. So that status, whenever the team is updating, it has to change automatically to the specific color. So let me put it in the gray or you can put it a light blue. So the status you wanted to have. Um, okay. First, you'll give a drop down option. So select all the line, go to data. And uh, here you have an option data validation. Data validation. So let's check it, where is the data validation? Um, yeah, go to data validation. So any value, no list, you want to give a list. Either you can uh, maintain the list in a separate sheet. Okay, that could be fine. Or else you can give as a comma. Okay, more than comma, uh, I prefer to have a data source. So, okay, maybe you can give the status. Pending, W, completed, canceled. Okay, so maybe we have uh, four status. So let's go here, select and go to data validation and uh, select the list, select the source. Okay, you can get the source and click OK. So the drop down has got the values. Now what you want, you want to allocate certain colors. Then go to status, go to home. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, home and uh, for these values, go to home, conditional formatting, highlight colors, and you can select based on the text that contains. So how I'm going to give containing, text containing, 
let's take it WIP. So when it is WIP, I want to give it in yellow color. And uh, same condition formatting, highlight text that contains pending. Pending, I wanted to give maybe red color. Again, condition formatting, text that contains completed. I want to give green color. Next one more is pending red, right? cancelled. Text that content, cancelled. For this, what kind of text I wanted to give? You customize it format. And color, color I want to make it dark gray. If it's cancelled, right? Okay. I think cancelled we need to change now one second but cancel when we're going for the customized one we have not selected the text that contains cancel customized format Go to fill. The font is automatic. Go to fill. And I want to give a dark gray. Okay. So now it's done. Uh, that uh, master data completed. Completed. This is still work in progress. This one is canceled. So maybe the font, if you want to show. So in the gray, it's not even visible, right? So we can make it something different. Text that containing, cancel. You go to custom format. Background color is gray and font. Let it uh, make it something else. Mm. Okay, so it will be visible. So, cancel, work in progress, completed, 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 cancel. Pending, pending, pending. Completed. Okay, so this is the way how you can get a color. And uh, in this uh, session, we have learned how to keep the drop down and also how to give the colors based on your status. So that will give a uh, good idea that one how many are completed, how many are canceled. Anyway, you will check in detail, but it looks uh, professional and also it looks good to understand uh, when someone is verifying. So I hope uh, you will learn the one uh, useful uh, Excel functionality which every consultant. Uh, needs to learn because it's part of our work okay when you're working on the tracking and all it will be helpful thanks for your time and uh, there are many other uh, excel videos available on our channel uh, have a look and go to our playlist and uh, or else you go to google and search excel videos by ganesh padala you will find all those relevant videos all those videos are made based on the real-time experience if you go to any famous uh, Excel YouTube channels, you will find hundreds of techniques, but we don't, you may not need to learn everything. I taught you only the formulas and uh, functionalities which I used during our uh, 12 plus years of SAP experience in different uh, kind of projects. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing. Have a good day.